this year in the summer, the Property Liability Trust announced to its members that it was no longer going to be mm -hmm. writing coverage for property liability and workers' compensation. And of course, we've been members of the Municipal Association and its trust since 1987. So we've had a lot of years, probably lo as long as any mm -hmm. municipality, uh, with these coverages and with the member agreement. Um, over the course of time, we have, on two occasions since Fred has been manager, put these coverages out to bid to see if the kind of deal we've been getting is a good deal or whether we can improve on that. And on both occasions, we not only had very few uh, bidders, but those who did bid, the Municipal Association Trusts, uh, were the low bidders. And so we remained with them. And as for last year's budget, we were given, uh, surprisingly or not, some decreases mm. in the costs of those, which was very helpful. Um, and so the Municipal Association Trust, for uh, whatever reason, um, uh, got discouraged from some of the rulings they got from the hearing officer and the Bureau of Securities Regulations uh, proceedings, uh, which have been concluded, by the way, and decided that it would stop writing as of July 1, 2016. And as you can imagine, there are many members like us who felt that that wasn't to our best uh, benefit just to have uh, one risk pool, Primex, be a bidder. So uh, they uh, have been convinced, that is the Municipal Association, to take one more stab at getting approval to write coverages from the uh, same hearing officer who heard the original proceedings. And uh, they filed a petition, and uh, there has been uh, hearings that have been scheduled for October 6th, 7th, and 9th as to what benefit there is for having the <coughs> Municipal Association Trusts as part of the choice. Mm. Um, initially, the uh, Wendy Parker, the executive director of those trusts, um, put out a request to have municipalities write in letters of support and she gave some sample language that could be used for such a letter but invited municipalities to adapt those letters and we were one that did adapt the letter and gave some of our own experience uh, unfortunately those letters weren't uh, didn't have much effect uh, with the with the hearing officer and so uh, They've decided that they will take advantage of this opportunity of the three days worth of hearing to have live witnesses come in of municipalities to, to give their experience, and especially the municipalities who have put these coverages out to bid, as we have, to testify about the experience. And so uh, Ms. Parker asked me if I would testify. Um, I can say not only uh, about the experience we had when we went out to bid, but also with the very positive experience I've had uh, with working with the Property Liability Trust claims personnel with numerous claims over many years. Uh, it's been a very positive experience. Um, I'd hate to see us not have the choice. That doesn't mean we would ultimately go with the Municipal Association. But at least uh, if there is more than one nonprofit pool in the mix, at least we have a better chance of getting good rates. And so uh, because they have not been, by the way, um, uh, sanctioned to do business uh, starting July 1 of 2016, next year they've been unable to give us firm figures to include in budgeting for this year as they have in past and have given us estimates to include. And so the quicker these hearings are concluded and the quicker the Municipal Association knows that it will or will not be in business, the better able we are to uh, obtain firmer prices, uh, either through them or through other places uh, next year. Um, I indicated to uh, Ms. Parker that I would not be able to testify unless this board indicated its approval for my doing so, much as you do when we go to testify on various pieces of legislation because it is speaking for the town. And so I would ask uh, your approval to appear as a witness on one of those three dates. Take questions, Mr. Waddell. Uh, no, I think it's a good idea. I mean, you sh we should have two. Yeah. Um, and we need it. And I think it's a good idea. Yeah. 
Mr. Bridle. I'd love to see more than two, but yeah. at least two, and I, I think it's a good idea that you go speak. Mrs. Wolseley. Yeah, I'll move that we authorize counsel to appear in our behalf at whichever hearing <coughs> is appropriate. I second. I totally agree. It, it, so first and second, all those in favor, unanimous. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank now you. Now make sure you give Mark the right date. He's got three to pick from. 